Hello my guys and welcome to another episode. In this episode we have a new pro from Cartering Home. This is going to be an electronic trunk lift support system for your 2019 to 2021 Toyota RAV4. So on this episode I'm going to show you installation and process on how to do this. Uh, basically we're going to remove this manual trunk lift support and we're going to put an electronic one. Uh, installation is not complicated. It's just time consuming. to 10 millimeters right there. Same on the other side. Once you remove those four bolts, just pull on the cover. Sometimes the clips holding the cover get stuck in here. If they get stuck in there, uh, just remove them with your pliers or with the screwdriver and put them back on the cover. Next step, you have the motor. You have a connector in there. Remove that connector and remove those three bolts to remove this part. That's the connector, just press on the tab and pull it out in those three bolts. The connector and the three bolts are being removed. Just pull it out. This is the new one, same thing. Use the three uh, bolts that you remove and put it on the latch. To replace the strut, get a small screwdriver, flat head, remove that clip so you can pull it out. On the bottom, you don't have to do that, just uh, remove those to 10 millimeter to get it out of the way. And when you do this process, make sure that uh, you have somebody helping you because if you remove one, probably, I don't think so, but probably this can fall on you. So just be careful on that. And for those brackets, you have an R on the passenger side and you have an L on the driver side. Same thing with this bracket, R is for the passenger side L is for the driver's side with the arrow facing up, so that's the position, that's how they're gonna go. You don't have to pull it all the way, once you have it like that, you can remove it. But yeah, it's kinda heavy, so one uh, strut is not gonna hold it. It's gonna fall down, so get somebody to help you. If you can see there, this bracket shows an R with the arrow facing up. Same thing with the bracket from Carter and Home, the R with the arrow facing up. You might run into a little issue. You're not gonna be able to put the socket in here because this part is shorter than the stuck one, so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench to go like that. Once you get that one tight, the other one you can use the socket and get them tied. Once you have everything ready, just push the strut inside. Same thing on that side. And these struts, uh, they're directional, so this is the right side. The cables are gonna be facing to the inside. Because if you put the other one, the cables are gonna be facing to the outside. But if you notice on the wrap force, uh, I hope all the wrap force they have this grommet. That's where uh, you put the cables through. 
you want to put these cables through and right here it's going to seal just remove the grommet and feed your cables through once you have all your cables through it should look like that and this is the cable we're just going to leave it like that for now until we know where it goes now that we have one side done repeat the same process on the other side okay guys this is how it looks right now the both sides struts are complete now we can do some wiring here on the back right here on the backs you want to have left pole those two wires connect them in there right hand side pole right there on the kit you're gonna have this wire harness where it has the uh, control to close the back and this connector from this kit is gonna go to the stack connector that you remove from that little motor in there so you're gonna grab this connector the stack one connect it to the black plug from the same wire harness this one is gonna be connected right there to the actual motor on top these two Coming from the motor on top, they're going to be connected right here on the black ones. So everything is uh, the same color, so you don't get confused. Plug and play. Okay, so all that is connected. The only thing that you have left here on the back is going to be this yellow cable. That's going to be for the wire that is going to be coming from the front of your RAV4. You're going to have another wire harness. This one is going to be the one that goes on the front. That's where this yellow cable is going to get connected once you bring all the cables here to the back now that we finish all the connections here on the back please don't close the latch because if you close it you're not going to have power and then you're going to have problems right here on the driver's side you have this big hole and then you have uh, that hole in there that one in there right in the middle uh, this box is going to be mounted the box is going to be provided with a screw and washer so you put it right there make sure that you do all your connections first right there inside and then just slide the box and get it tight now that we get to this part to get to the latch you have to remove this cover first pull on the corners right here and then just pull it up straight remove this latch you're gonna need a t40 torx bit same thing with this latch it has a little arrow facing up it's gonna go that way next step before we tap into the fuse and we get everything ready on the front you're gonna need to run the cables so you can remove this cover then that cover run the cables through the inside here on the driver's side rear you can pull on that cover to run the cables and then you're going to open that cover right there once you open that cover you need to remove first the gasket that goes all the way around and then you're going to be able to see through all the way to the back to give you an idea remove that 10 millimeter in there remove the clip that goes in here and then you're going to have more access to bring the cables from the front and then just pull on this cover so you can bring the cables up you gotta remove this cover first just pull up and for that one it has a little screw in that hole remove that screw it's a plastic screw remove it and then you can pull this cover out right here on the bottom you're gonna have the fuse box remove the lid to remove it you just gotta pull on the front side just pull and remove the lid and then you're gonna tap on that little fuse that it says 20 amps remove it and put that one in place now for that yellow wire you need to tap into the door plug this door plug the second cable on your left is a white cable you need to tap into that one to get to that switch on top you're gonna have one 10 millimeter right here one screw another screw and just a 
few clips, pull this one down, and then remove that 10 millimeter. Once you remove that, just pull on the cover. Once you remove that cover, you're gonna have access to the back of your switches. If you can see right there, you can see the clip, press with your flat head, and on that side, right there, press on them, and push that little cover in. Right there, you have a bolt holding this little bar. You can use that as a ground. And right there, you have the switch. That's how it's gonna look like once you put it on. Okay, guys, if you can see right there, this black cable, ground is in place. And if you can see right there, we tap into that fuse that I told you about. 20 amp on your left hand side. Okay, guys, we already tap into that cable. Uh, ground is done. Uh, this one that goes to the switch is done. There is only one little red cable. Uh, I think that's just for the light of the switch. Don't know yet. We want to find out in a minute. And just for reference, the one that says ILL, that's the one just for the LED. We don't need to worry about this cable. It's short. We need to uh, extend it and tap into one of the fuses later. And on this cover right here on the B pillar, we just uh, lift them up a little bit so we can put the cables through. Same thing in here on the back side. You can put uh, zip ties and get it tied to the wire harness that goes through. Make everything look clean and put them all the way through. And we have the cables right here. Next thing, just put them all the way up through that grommet and bring them to the box and connect them. Okay guys, so the cables go right here and right around this part, it goes up all the way inside and that grommet is already uh, full. So we're gonna try to put it to that little one. Well guys, change of plans because that hole right there is for the water. So we put all the cables at once through there with a piece of metal, we put electrical tape on one end, put the piece of metal all the way in, and then attach the cables to the piece of metal and pull it. It was kind of hard, it takes a lot of time, you have to do it little by little, but all the cables are right here, as you can see. It looks like everything is being connected right, because the hatch shows that it's open on the dash. Once we connect the purple plug, I heard a bit, now the switch is on. So everything is being connected in the box, as you can see. Uh, we have everything done, uh, switch is being connected. Now we just need to put the box inside, put the screw back in it, hide all the wires, make everything look clean, and try the hatch for the first time. Let's see how it works. Okay guys, the box is in place. This is a T25 Torx bit and we're not gonna put the covers, we need to uh, test the system, see if everything works. Okay guys, we have the switch there for now. I'm gonna show you in a minute uh, how we're gonna mount that, that switch. Basically at the end, make sure that everything is being connected and to finish, you have to press that switch until you're gonna have a beep sound for three to five seconds. And then you're gonna have another little sound and the latch is gonna learn the process and everything is gonna be complete. Okay, so now we'll press it again. It didn't close all the way. Let me see on that. Okay, so it's up. The latch is supposed to let go. So I think this is just a safety feature in it. Let's close it again, see what happens. We might have to adjust that little latch on the bottom. No, uh, it was learning the system, so the first time it didn't close, we open it again, and uh, now it learned the system. Now we close it, and everything works fine. Uh, okay, I think everything works fine. Now we need to put the covers back on. Now this little drill bit is not for the 
uh, wires on the side is to make a hole on this panel to lock the switch in place okay if we press that switch it's supposed to open the latch press and hold works fine now let's see if we close perfect same thing with this bottom in here just press it and it's gonna open no problems okay my guys installation is complete you know that you have a little cover in there yeah that's where we put it uh, we decide not to put it in there if we decide to change it later on we can just order this from uh, Toyota this little cover that doesn't matter but it's gonna stay right there perfect and when the hatch closed uh, the light goes off on the switch okay guys everything is fine if we press the button open the hatch no problems okay let's press it again perfect everything works fine no problems okay guys so i'll leave you with that i hope you liked this episode thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one peace mm.